It's a rainy night in Georgia. You can bet it is. So what else is new? So all we've had here lately is rainy nights. It's been a rainy all day. Now I'm sitting too close to the bench. Put my feet up like I know something. I uh, thought I'd come down here and tinker for a little bit this evening. Uh, as you, if you watched yesterday's video, you know I still have to finish rewiring my lights. But I know how to wire them now. But I'm going to jump over to this end of the project. I thought about taking this charger apart. And I want to build a receptacle in one side or the other where I can just plug in my 12 volt lights instead of using these battery jumper cables. That's kind of asinine. Probably got a ton of dirt and grease uh, crud in it that needs tuned out in it, cleaned out anyway. It looks like to get this thing apart, I probably have to take out these four screws and physically bend the frame, bend the sides up to get it pulled up off of there. But I can't bend it too much. Because it's got a wire coming out this side and a wire coming out that side. Hopefully they allotted enough room in there to lift that cover off. We'll know something here in a few minutes.
Okay, my friends, a little bit of an update on what I've been up to. I took my charger apart, and believe me, I've been working at it two hours to get it back together. If you got one of these, it's a booger bear to put back together. A little twisting and beating and literally hammering on it, I got it beat back in there. But I found out after I got it open, this is what I need right here, an electrical outlet. I have not ticked it anything, but as much as I beat on this transformer just now, this charger, it might not be working anymore. But we're going to find out right now. Let me make sure these clamp, ground clamps ain't touching. In fact, I need a place to store them. We got electricity to the lights. Now I gotta finish my wiring to get them back to flashing. Yeah, I was straining my brain trying to figure out a way to connect electricity straight into the machine. If you take one of these serious things apart, you gotta have a rocket scientist degree to put it back together. It'll supply me with power until it quits working. As much as I beat on it, it must be a pretty good battery charge. I literally, literally had to hammer on it over there to get it back together. It's got these little notches here that have to line up. I'm only bleeding in three places. My joy, that light has got plenty of voltage. Look how bright it is. Tomorrow we'll rig up the, we will run the wire and then Put the flasher in there. Switched it down to six bolts and it's still got a pretty bright light. We got ourselves a humdinger of a charger here. What do you think of my Electrical source there, my friends. Let's pee wall parts in. Y'all have a good evening. We're going to the barn. You know what that means? Me gonna quit. You ever ride an old stable horse? I have. About the first time I ever went horseback riding, they gave me an old horse that would. <laughs> All he wanted to do was go back to the barn. I got off that horse and he ran off and left. He went right back to the barn. Oh, 
Okay. That's really a pretty damn dandy way to do it, I think. I'll put me a cover on there, electrical outlet cover. It wouldn't hurt you none to touch it. It's only 12 volts. But we might as well make it look fancy. I tied a knot so if this gets yanked on, it won't pull out. We're in business. Y'all have a good evening.